All right, everybody, we have uh, a lot to do tonight. Great show. You guys are sounding good tonight. Before we go any further, though, I want you all to uh, quickly say a, a, a... I always go out before the show and say a, a quick hello to people in the audience. And I just met a gentleman who fascinated me. Uh, he's, he's from Slovenia, and his name is... His name is, is, his name is Veet. Is that correct, Veet? Is your name Veet? <laughs> wow. Veet. <laughs> My God. <laughs> That's, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's, I love how accepting this country is. <laughs> of people from all over. You've instantly become the most powerful person in television. <laughs> I'll say hi to my friend Veet. Veet, 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 Veet. <laughs> From Slovenia. And Veet told me he doesn't watch the show. Uh, NBC doesn't air the show in Slovenia, but you watch us online? That's correct, yeah. Yeah. Do you enjoy the show? It's great, yeah. I love it, yeah. I'm a big fan. You seem thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very nice. So, Jeff, uh, isn't this correct? People can watch our show online now. I should get the word out about that, NBC. right? NBC.com. NBC.com. So just, if you go on NBC.com and use a credit card, and it's like $88 an episode. <laughs> Free. What? Free. Free. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know there's a catch somewhere. I've worked for General Electric for a long time. <laughs> It's free, and then someone comes later and hits you. Uh, I don't mean any of that. It's a great company. But, um, <laughs> but welcome, Veet. Welcome to our land, and I hope you have a good time. Did you come? <laughs> He's a good guy, Veet. I like Veet. I like Veet. Veet. Veet's very cool, and he's, like, in touch with himself, and... I didn't mean anything by that. I just mean you're a cool guy. <laughs> himself. Uh, all right, a lot to talk about here. A lot going on. I gotta say something, I don't know if you, if you agree with me here on this beat, but it seems like every time you turn the news on these days, especially in this country, I don't know what it's like in Slovenia, but in this country, every time you turn on the television in America, uh, they're reporting about some new scandal. Isn't that true? Every time you turn on the TV, celebrities breaking... <laughs> well, are we gonna weigh in with Veet on everything tonight? <laughs> Slash was in Guns N' Roses, right, Veet? That is correct. <laughs> Beats my man. Uh, anyway, they're always reporting about like celebrities breaking the law, politicians getting caught up in a sex scandal, a CEO embezzling money. Scandals everywhere. Well, I hate to admit it, ladies and gentlemen, but we've had our fair share of scandals here at our little late night show. And I thought rather than let the media find out and then run our name through the mud, it might be better if we aired these scandals ourselves in a little piece I'm gonna call Late Night Scandals. I think that's it. <laughs> The first scandal is that graphic right there. <laughs> Am I testing my breath? Is that what I'm doing? <laughs> all right. Not a lot of scratch here at the show. Well, first of all, here's a scandal. There's an ongoing scandal involving China. Everyone knows about it. Apparently, China's been flooding our country with inferior goods that have been made with toxic materials. Well, I have something to confess. I'm not proud of this. Before the show, we customarily hand out free late-night T-shirts to our studio audience to cut costs. We had the t-shirts made with illegal textiles in China. Now, hopefully none of you have put these t-shirts on yet, because before you put them... Okay, that's... I, I love... Veet's behind him, doing his best to make that joke funny. <laughs> Please, get behind it. Conan tries hard. Help him. <laughs> Our show. Now that's really smoking, and that probably really is toxic. <laughs> Leave! Get out of here! <laughs> All right, well, uh, moving on. I should probably get on to the next scan. Excuse me, Conan. I've got a little scandal your fans might like to hear about. Oh, hi, everybody. That's my former assistant, Dana. Okay. Actually, Dana, we should probably move it well, along. What's the matter, Conan? Don't want our little secret to get out? Afraid people might learn the truth about Mr. Goody Two Shoes talk show host? Okay, I really don't know what you're talking yes, about. Yes, you do, you liar. I'm talking about your illegal volleyball smuggling operation. <laughs> it's true, it's true. 
They're just so much cheaper in Mexico. By the way, I'm pregnant. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> Here's another scandal I want to come clean about. I hate to admit this, but for many years, we've been spraying our studio audience with laughing gas. <laughs> See, when I spray the audience with laughing gas, it makes it a lot easier than being genuinely funny. Unfortunately, it became obvious we were using laughing gas during my recent interview with documentary filmmaker Ken Burns. Take a look. In World War II, that generation, they never discussed they it. They never discussed it. It wasn't just, what you did. And just think about it, too. You turn these teenagers into professional killers. <laughs> they see bad things. In some cases, they do bad things. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that. Well, our announcer, Joel Goddard, says he has something he wants to share with us. Conan, have you ever heard rumors about a certain deep, dark secret scandal here at Late Night? Deep, dark secret scandal? No, I, I don't think so, Joel. You mean you never heard that one night several years ago when the studio was dark and everyone had gone home, a certain employee here at Late Night exposed himself to a janitor? And then when the janitor threatened to report the employee, the employee panicked, hit the janitor on the head with an ashtray, and buried him beneath the floorboards of his windowless booth? <laughs> and that now, the guilt-stricken murderer is plagued, day and night, by the deafening sound of the dead janitor's heart, the beating of his hideous heart! No, Joel, I, I never heard that story. Then I guess it's just a rumor. Well, of course, Atlanta Falcons quarterback Michael Vick ruined his career by getting involved in a dogfighting scandal. Now, dogfighting's a terrible thing. Unfortunately, the guys in our band recently got caught up in something far worse. Take a look. Take a little break. When we come back, Dane Cook's here. Stick around. We'll see you in a minute.